that's basically my morning routine. I wake up, make coffee, um, read. Usually I'm reading Ink right now, the magazine. I make coffee, drink coffee while I'm reading, and then I meditate for 10 minutes. I use Headspace. I've been doing that for the last 33 days. Um, today, sit, sit meditation was, uh, wasn't that good. I know you're not supposed to like judge it or whatever, but and every day is different. But uh, the last three days, for whatever reason, just been kind of space cadet. So <clears throat> it's all good. Meditate a couple times throughout the day. Kind of levels me out and makes me, um, you know, I have packs. I have my one of my best friends. He's one of my groomsmen. He's turning 30, so we're all taking him out and partying tonight. Um, but especially on nights where I party. I want to make sure I go with a good headspace, with a good mindset, um, not too aggressive and um, kind of out of it and conscious, I guess, because I just want to be mindful of how much I'm drinking and just be present during my uh, interactions with my friends because, you know, it's important to hang out with your friends. It's important to um, interact and connect with them. So that is uh, that's my morning routine. And I'm driving to work right now. It's uh, six forty. Got a late day. Late start. Usually start at six. But um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. doing the fun shit, which is running payroll. Super fun stuff. Um, yeah, so with tonight's party, it's all about strategies. It's, um, you know, I'm going to bring booze for Justin, whose birthday it is, um, so I kind of know what my macros are going to be. Um, and again, just go in there very mindful, meditate before, and uh, have a good time, don't restrict. You know, I think it's funny, when I'm meditating this in the morning, I use headspace, and every single time um, towards the end, there's a part where it's like, now just let your mind do whatever you want. You know, you have a focus the whole time, but then there's a part where it's like, just do whatever you want. Let your mind do whatever you want, and during that time, my I don't think like that's the clearest I'm actually um, at. So I think whenever I go into restriction mindset, it's um, it's it's very like it's it's not freeing. I don't feel like what if I tell myself, oh, you can eat whatever you want, you can um, you know you can you can have that, like you can drink that, you can do whatever you want. Um, it takes me out of that restriction mindset into a much better. Um, state of mind happier so definitely going with that attitude tonight but uh, we bought him a record player I don't know um, but I'm excited should be should be a fun night but we got Adam um, he's testing out today this is his fourth week of shadowing uh, he's doing the functional movement screening and he's doing body fat today so it should be 45 minutes then I'm gonna work out um, and then I'm gonna go home do some accounting Come and then go to my gym, do some cardio. Uh, but before all that, I'm gonna do payroll, do a couple things for work, and then I have two more training sessions um, and then out, out in the shadow. So keep you guys posted. Is Adam Hamilton ready? It's going down. How are you feeling, Adam? How are you feeling about your test out right now? I know, dude. I'm gonna have you squat as low as possible. Keeping your face and your chest. Going to squat. Back down. I'm great three times and holding it three times. You like the camera in your face all the time? <laughs> you get used to it, man. Uh -huh. This is gonna be in your face like every second. <laughs>
we got some good news. Uh -huh. We got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that you've, you've passed. You want to go in there? It's actually way too bright. <laughs> you passed the functional movement screening and the, uh, the body fat test. We have some feedback for you, but you know, to work on, we're going to test you again in two weeks. The bad news is you, uh, you have to play a game of Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. Bean boozled. Okay. boozled. It's like the game with the jelly beans <laughs> that either tastes like, you know, like licorice or skunk, and you don't know which one it is. So you gotta play that sometime soon. Yeah. Sorry, man. So if you don't really understand what's going on there, Adam is a new trainer. He's been uh, shouting for the last month, and he has to test out on a couple things before he can take on clients. Uh, but now I'm going to cut my workout. This is all my mobility drill. I do a ton, ton of soft tissue work on the lacrosse ball. Um, <clears throat> and then I get into my activation, my range of motion drill. So this is a little peek at it. I can't do this squat test. I was trying to get some cool shots on here. This looks like it's like a liquor store uh, overhead camera. Not good, but uh, anyway, today so was hypertrophy. Uh, I did bench, I did rows. Um, the rows were uh, countdown series, so you do six reps and you hold the six, sixth rep for six seconds, you do five reps, hold the fifth rep for five seconds, and you go all the way down to one. I did bench, um, we did a bunch of abs, we did some flies, and just so again, this is just a little um, tidbit of what we did today. And then I did 45 minutes of cardio later, um, but yeah, it's a good workout. food here all cooked and ready to go smart water um, one thing I definitely recommend if you're coming out of a fast is to, to pound water um, I've said this a million times but dehydration has the same um, effects as feeling like you're hungry as hunger um, so if you're dehydrated you might even if you're hungry you might actually just be um, dehydrated and it gets you a little fuller, a little faster. Um, again, and also, when you're eating, take your time, focus on your meal, don't do anything else. Um, it can wait, you know? You can make an excuse, oh, I don't have any time, but you're eating twice a day if you're fasting. 20 minutes isn't gonna kill you. Um, love you guys. get my uh, cardio in. And uh, a lot of people have asked me why my thoughts have changed on, um, on doing steady state cardio, because I used to be all about hit, and I still am. Um, it's just, I'm in a deficit right now, and so my, um, it's taxing on your system. Um, so, High intensity interval training is taxing on your system as well. With my current workload um, being super high, um, you know, at least like at least ten hours a day. I just spent two hours doing my accounting. Are you ready? So I got my, all, almost all my food in for today. Got rice 
and chicken braised. That was my lunch. The whey protein, tropical brand, uh, fruit, almond milk cottage cheese. That was my uh, shake, my post-workout shake. And then I put all my bourbon in here. So about 500 grams. I'm guessing I'm going to have four drinks. I usually drink bourbon. Um, and then dinner, I'm going to have... We're going to so my editing video. Um, this place in Studio City, which looks amazing. They have hush puppies. I have to order one. I have to. Um, haven't had one of those since I was on the East Coast. And then I'm just going to get smoked chicken. Um, and I'll probably get... Excuse me. Probably get a salad to put it on that. So I'm stoked. That should be um, like four, five hundred calorie dinner, um, and that will put me right at my deficit, which is seventeen hundred. Uh, I worked out today, did my cardio, felt good. So about an hour and forty five minutes of activity today. All right. Hey boy. Hey. Buddy. Hey. Looking good. No cell phone? You got digital camera? Nah, like upgrade. 2003? <laughs> You're so funny. Pack, you got jokes? Happy birthday. Hey, buddy. That's a joke. You've been awfully dickish. That's a, that's a... You've been awfully dickish today. Really? Are you upset? I am. Are you really? On this the day of my birth? Seriously? Yeah. I didn't offend you. There's no way. Offended. Are you really offended? Mm hmm. Shut up. It's where it Okay. You're kidding. I don't know. You're an idiot. We'll let you see over that. What about the other 20 years I've known you that I've made fun of you? Every single year. I just well, Probably 15. Today. Oh, you've been, this is for all the other years? No. Okay. Well, fuck you. Happy birthday. Thanks, buddy. Wow. It's hey, Snakey Poo. Wow. It feels it's really clear. Super clean. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. How do you feel about Pac's birthday? <laughs> Awful. Yeah, it's a joke, right? Is it his birthday? He told me I was being extra nice. dickish. Nah, I'm good. Who said that? He said I was being extra dickish. That you were being extra yeah, dickish? Yeah, pack. Of all of us? Yeah, of all of us. He's like, hey, you're being extra dickish today. Like, fuck you, dick. <laughs> I told you that we, <laughs> we broke him. Yeah, we really did. Who would have thought? He said he was holding him for 15 The classes. Dude, this thing is crisp. What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? Happy birthday. Thanks, man. Hey Ron. Ron. Yeah. What? Back when he has a goddamn record Oh yeah. Last night. Yeah. But dude. Pack, how much better how much better is this one than yours? This one is way better than that. This is better. this is a piece of shit. It's actually a table. That's the one. Yeah. Pack. Oh, that's, oh, that's rough. This is the one that we said. You're the DJ, Pack. Now you have two tables. We'll get a mixer and you can do a problem. Ron's like, you can do this one. I love it. I love it. This one's way better. And it comes with extras. What? Yeah, this one is better. Yeah, open Pack's birthday present. Hell yeah. Yeah. Did they get you this? Oh my Did God. your Persian friends get you that? The one in the back is the, the one after that's a good one. And that's the one I really like to get. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's sick. That's sick. What's on there? Just mama. Love stuff. it. Amazing. Is that the full album? Wanna build it? I just let's build it. Fucking put it in. Let's do it. Uh, all right, and don't point it at me. One. I want to see how it is. I, I, put, it I put it all together <laughs> on stage. You just have to put the top on. I put it's it really scary. on stage. It is. And it was a little bit of a like deer. Like 22,000 square stage. Can I see the tips? Let me see the tips. They're really. 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 They're <laughs> Happy 30th. Happy 30th, Pack. Happy 30th, big boy. I don't know if anybody used to watch this because you're all white, but uh, there was a show called Family Matters back in the 90s, 
And every time Urkel was pouring something into his little changing the stuff on Urkel thing, Laura would be like, Steve, I'm shh, not while I'm pouring. <laughs> you know, probably more white people than black people watched that show. I doubt that. Yeah. I, I doubt that. 100%. Really? I want chicken. Yeah, yeah bro. These fucking things is created. You think these were created? Like fucking not eating chicken? Dylan's heart. I'm kosher. When they said we don't chicken I my Hold on. Not yet. Let me find out. Oh yeah. Split. You want split? You're done. You're done. <laughs> dog food. Dog food. With a dog. Barbecue from Bob Ack. And a dog in a bowl. <laughs> it is 11.30. I just Irish goodbye out of there. Thank God for drinks. Let's make a brisket. Feel okay now.